Hello dear students, welcome to pen and paper chemistry on YouTube. We are back with our favorite flow charts and today I'm going to talk about the preparation of aldehydes and ketones. In this particular video, we are going to take up aldehydes and ketones together. So we're going to take it in two parts. One would be preparation, the other would be properties. As you can see in the flow chart, We've got the preparation listed in six, dic dic uh, six different ways, sorry. Um, so we've got uh, the preparation of aldehydes and ketones from alkenes, alkynes, alcohols, followed by preparation from acid chlorides, nitriles, and esters. There are, for those who are new to the channel, there are already flow charts on alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, alcohols, uh, halogen derivatives, ethers on the channel. So let me give you an introduction of this flow chart. So when we talk about alkenes, now I hope you remember that uh, we did the, uh, prep the properties of alkenes and we talk about ozonolysis. Ozonolysis is treatment with ozone followed by hydrolysis with zinc and water. Now, I've divided the flowchart into three parts further. The first part tells us that ethene can be converted to methanol. You notice the change in the number of carbon atoms, two carbon atoms to one carbon atom. The symmetrical dye substituted alkene gets converted into um, any other aldehyde other than of course methanol symmetrical tetra substituted gets converted to ketones. Alkynes, conversion to alkynes. Wondering why I'm not writing the reactions? Yes, I'm going to take it up as the next video. This is just for you to get the flow chart or the mind map ready for the next lesson so that you can refer to it and write the reactions yourself. The second would be conversion of alkynes to aldehydes and ketones. So how do we do that is we do it with the help of hydration by treating with dilute H2SO4 in the presence of mercury sulfate. Now here by this method we cannot prepare methanol. So if you notice I have put an HCHO and a cut across it. That means I cannot prepare. This is the method that I'm going to use in order to indicate what can be prepared and what cannot be. Similarly, any other alkyne, any other alkyne will get converted to ketone. How is that going to happen? We'll see that in the next one. Alcohols, now this is a topic that we've recently done. Alcohols can be converted to um, aldehydes and ketones by uh, removing hydrogen or adding oxygen. So basically what you mean is oxidation. So when you say oxidation, we can either do it by oxidizing agents, you see the various oxidizing agents listed, or by dehydrogenation, that is removal of hydrogen. Acid chlorides can be converted to aldehydes by Rosenmund reaction, where you treat it with, uh, we, you reduce it with hydrogen in the presence of palladium uh, sulfate and uh, you see over here poison with sulfur or quinoline, that is a Lindler catalyst. We've spoken about this earlier as well. It's a reducing agent with its own reducing capacity reduced by poisoning it so that it doesn't act as a reducing agent to a strong extent. Ketones, on the other hand, can be prepared from acid chlorides by treatment with dialkyl cadmium. Come to nitriles. Nitriles can be converted to aldehydes and ketones by three different ways. So either you reduce it by uh, treating with SNCl2 and HCl followed by acidic hydrolysis 
but by this method we can only prepare aldehydes. Same way I can also reduce it with dibyl that is diisobutyl aluminium hydride long word right don't worry we'll break it down when we write the reactions but again we can only prepare aldehydes by this method so there's another method we reacted with Grignard's reagent so Grignard's reagent if you remember we've done an entire video on this so where we've treated uh, the alkyl uh, sorry the hydrogen cyanide or the alkyl cyanide with Grignard's reagent followed by hydrolysis we can prepare aldehydes and ketones by this method but we cannot prepare methanol HCHO by this method so that's why you'll see an HCHO with a strike through it esters can also be reduced by dibyl so if you see dibyl we've used at two different places reducing nitriles reducing esters that's the special capacity or special capability of dibyl that is to reduce uh, carbonyl compounds, nitriles in order to obtain aldehydes. Right, so I will keep the flowchart for you on the screen so that you can make a note of it, you can take a screenshot of it if you like and keep it ready so that you can write reactions based on this. Please encourage your classmates and your friends to connect with the channel on pen and paper chemistry you will also find all this material on the google site pen and paper chemistry